Okay, a quick tutorial on uh, making a planet. So, I'm going to click New, and I'm opening a, a new document in the size of 1920 by 1080 because that's the normal kind of screen size. It's going to choose white because uh, my background foreground color is white here and so on. But I've pressed Control Shift J to show the whole screen. We're going to turn that black. And uh, first, we'll go to Filters, and we'll go to Noise, CIE ICH Noise, and as you can see, it looks like uh, the sort of distortion that you used to get on old TVs. Turn the dulling right right up to uh, to eight, and then add some lightness. Choose a new random seed, click OK. Now what we're going to do here is we'll go to the brightness and contrast. I'm going to turn the contrast up a bit. Uh, yeah, that should do nicely. We've got yeah, so we can see we've got some uh, stars in there. So um, filters, light and shadow, sparkle. Uh, when this loads up, which um, sometimes it can take a, take a while with my computer because it's a, a poor old machine. Um, we turn the luminosity up. You can turn the flare intensity up and so on, the spike length and the number of spikes. But I tend to not do that. Um, click OK. And when it's processed, some of the, uh, some of the lighter points will kind of be turned into stars whilst the background remains background noise and it becomes very much like an actual night sky there we go as you see so uh, what we'll do now is we'll add a, uh, a, a plasma layer because uh, we're going to turn this into a um, uh, a very kind of what you see in uh, the programs sort of spacing. So back to your filters, render, noise, and plasma. And we'll scroll through until we find, yeah, I like that one. I like that one very much. So we'll click OK. We'll take that down and we'll go to normal. And we want, is it soft light for this? Or is it, um, a linear mix oh actually that's because I'm on the wrong layer very I do apologize for that um, it is late at night and I'm uh, I really ought to be in bed so hard light you can see that the stars look a little nice soft light um, maybe we should turn the plant down a bit we'll um, duplicate the background and put place that there and back to the plasma turn it down and there we go we have something akin to the sorts of pictures that you see in um, the various uh, documentaries and so on now we're going to add a few bright uh, flares here by going to the uh, uh, the supernova uh, that is brilliant because it's right in the middle of the blue um, so, uh, so we'll, yeah we'll leave it there uh, the radius yeah, so. uh, tell you what we'll we won't do it on that layer we'll do it on the layer that we've set to soft light uh, filters, light and shadow, um, supernova. Now we can click on this arrow here and actually select our spot there. So uh, unclick that. Now we can drag that to our, our specific size. Um, Yep, that's okay and we'll add another one up here but we'll go to the color here and we'll we'll make that one a pinky sort of red and we'll go 
there, put it up there, and move it around a little. Uh, up there. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll pop this one on the plasma layer. We want this one in green. Click OK and go here. Select where the green ones go in. Um, we'll add some on the on the background layer too, um, because with the different layers being in different modes, it will show up at different brightnesses. So as you can see, it looks like the stars are actually in uh, coming into play in um, yes, in different kind of forms if you like uh, they also have different depths of, uh, of of the image uh, let's make that one a little bigger and we'll move it around a bit, a bit. Oh, that's not what I meant to do but that's okay because we can just like that uh, okay, so now so we've got our kind of um, Milky Way sort of background. Uh, what we need to do now is we add a layer and we'll call this one Planet 1 and we'll go 1000 by 1000 because um, it's easiest to do this with a square. Uh, click OK. Uh, this has opened a uh, planet there. If we go to um, the gradient tool, now first things first, go to your rulers here. If you click and drag, it sets a guideline. Now, the guideline is great for doing gradients when you want everything perfectly aligned because, it, yes, if you roughly follow the guideline, it'll snap to it. So click here and let's find a nice set for, for a planet so um, ooh, let's go with this horizon one so we'll click here at the top and we'll go to there like that and then enter and now I'm gonna go to my brushes tool as you can see over here I've already got a load of uh, a load of brushes um, I've downloaded a lot of these from um, uh, deviant art now we're going to use this to add some mist and stuff to uh, 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 so to the um, the image All right. Let's undo all that. We'll duplicate the layer, and then we'll we'll add the mist to the duplicate layer, so we can turn the opacity down a little. Right click on that, and we'll merge down. Now, if we go to guides, remove all guides, filters map map object and this is where we make our first planet now i like to remove the wireframe update live and we want it on a transparent background that sphere now we can move the position of that of that light uh we'll have a directional light instead of a point of light um we can make the planet give the planet a bit more spin there we go and th i'm happy with that you can change the intensity of the light by the material and so on and click ok so we'll go to the move tool and um, put that there like so uh, what i always do is we'll duplicate that we'll go back to the one behind it filters blur Gaussian blur and then just 
a little so that it gives a slight blur to the outline because otherwise the planet looks too far too defined and far too round um, now I'm going to drag and drop a map of the planet Earth in the I uh, um, that earlier on I decided to download Shift and S to scale it. We'll drag that corner in and that corner in and we'll keep dragging in until yeah until it's kind of a reasonable size. Now because it's not really to um yeah so to scale we'll click this little box up here to yeah, unlink the sides and we'll we'll turn it into a square so we want 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels and then scale and yet again what we can do is we can go filters map map object and there we go we have a map of the world and if we go to our orientation we can decide exactly how we want it what way around there we go so you can see africa europe india uh, some of antarctica um we'll leave the point of light as uh, uh, as it is because that's how we've um you know so we've got it set up on the other one uh now if we move that to over here and we'll scale it up a bit so we'll relink these and we'll scale it there move it over and then enter and as before duplicate it and then on the rear one filters blur Gaussian blur and just a little Oh, we, yeah, so with Earth we'll, we'll go for a little more because we've got the Earth's atmosphere that would be reflecting some of uh, the, the light around it. And there we go. Okay. Um, uh, as you can see, that there we've got yeah, our planets, we've got our stars. Um, if you want it more traditional sort of stars you can remove yeah so the uh, yeah so the plasma you can yeah you can do what whatever you like with it um so yeah uh have fun and hope you enjoy making your planets